given them everything. Not everything. Not yet. I'm Gotham Shrekening. You have my permission to die. What is going on, everybody? This is the final review. Reviewing all of the Batman films, including Bat the Dark Knight trilogy. I have a video coming out later this week. We'll talk about that later. But here's my review of The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, I got to watch all these movies again recently, and I just love these movies. This actually is a movie I really want to talk about because obviously, excuse me, obviously this is a movie that is very interesting because obviously this was everybody's most anticipated film when it came out in 2012. It was. I mean, it came after The Dark Knight, one of my favorite films of all time. And you all knew I was super excited for this film. And I got to say, I loved nearly every single second of this movie. I don't understand why people hate this movie? I really don't because I understand, but people really do not like this movie. They think it's overrated. And I'm going to say this. Why? Because the same, well, I understand why people don't like Batman vs. Superman. I'll go into that on Friday. But I'm just saying this. I love this movie. I thought this movie was awesome. And watching it again yesterday in preparation for this review, I still love this movie. I think this movie's fantastic. And I'm going to go into some spoilers, so if you have not seen The Dark Knight Rises, you have been forewarned. So, watch the film, then come back and you'll see my review. But let's talk about The Dark Knight Rises, because obviously, when this movie came out, it was super hyped. I remember going with friends to see this at midnight, and obviously people were like, it didn't make as much money as we all hoped, because you know of the shootings, and we're not going to go into that. But going into this movie, I had such a high expectation. And I had those expectations exceeded. And I will say the positives. Christian Bale gives the best Bruce Wayne out of all three movies. This was such a fantastic Bruce Wayne. This was such an incredible Bruce Wayne. And such an interesting Bruce Wayne. And I love Bruce Wayne in this movie. I thought Bruce Wayne was handled so great in this movie. After everything that happened in The Dark Knight. He doesn't know what his purpose is anymore. He's losing his faith he finds like he has nothing and when bane breaks him the the urge to get back and climb out of the pit which i love people complain about that go ahead but this easily is the best performance christian bale has given in all three of the movies i feel like he's really fantastic as batman and he just really brought that sentimental value to this character and brought a deeper meaning to the character of batman in this film tom hardy as bane Ah, I love Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is being freaking amazing in this movie. Now, is it Warrior or Inception or the Revenant type role? No. Is his voice a little too much? Yes, but I love Tom Hardy. This was one of the only guys, you never really saw Batman get his ass kicked before in a movie. But in the comics, there was definitely a lot of times where Batman got his ass kicked. And in this movie, Batman gets his ass kicked. He gets his ass kicked, handed to him. You know, Tom Hardy physically looks like Bane. He got huge for this film. I loved him. The way he's performed, the way he was menacing as a character. There's certain there's a, there's a negative I'm going to talk about with Bane later in the review. But I thought Tom Hardy as Bane brought that character to a underwhelming, overwhelming positive. Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. I was not really excited for her when I heard she was playing Catwoman. I'm like they could do better casting. Stole the movie. She she was amazing as Catwoman. When did this happen? I thought she was really good as Catwoman. And she was amazing as Catwoman. She was amazing. Uh, Michael Caine makes me cry in every scene he was in in this movie. He was just amazing. And Gary Oldman as Jim Gordon still great. Joseph Gordon-Levitt as the cop. He was really good as well. Every performance of this movie works. It has some great performances. It has a great moral story. It has great moments. And just the things that these movies go through, the motion, the mo this is the most powerful of all three of the Batman films because it has just a deeper meaning inside. And what is real? What is it? And the action is working to a level. The football stadium scene? Whoa! Now, I did say there was negatives, and I will say I really think the script was worked very well. I think it worked well for what it needed to. Christopher Nolan's direction was great in handling how to end a film. Because all these directors have some problems. There is problems with some movies 
ending a trilogy right. You want to end a trilogy right. And here I felt like they ended the story of Batman very well. They ended it the way they needed to. However, I do have a negative, and that is involving a spoiler. So if you're not seeing The Dark Knight Rises, you've been warned. Here we go. The way Bane was killed was my only negative with the film. Because I felt like the movie was going over, and it was going very well with the way it needed to go. But when they killed Bane off, that took me out. Because obviously when Catwoman kills him with the thing, I was like, really? That's how Bane's got to go? And that was a negative for me. But this it, this is my least favorite of the Dark Knight trilogy. However, I still love this movie. And what the only negative was with Bane and that I love this movie. I think this movie ends the trilogy on the right note. And I don't understand why people are so upset about this movie. It's not a bad film. To me... It was in my top 10. It was my number 10 tied with The Avengers. But which movie did I like more, The Avengers or The Dark Knight Rises? I gotta say The Avengers a little more. But I love The Dark Knight Rises. I think it's a great ending to a great trilogy. And that being said, I'm going to give The Dark Knight Rises a 4.75 out of 5. It's not a 5 out of 5. But it has problems. But I still loved it for what it was going. So that's going to end The Dark Knight Reviews because I reviewed all the films leading up to Suicide Squad, which I actually am going to see tomorrow. I really hope he doesn't suck. I, I'm just going to go in. I'm going in because the reviews have gotten a little blurry. So I'm just going to turn my brain off and say, please be fun. But that being said, DC Heroes will be tomorrow. We're going to preview Suicide Squad. And we're going to talk about Suicide Squad. So we're going to preview Suicide Squad. And that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, tune for Batman v Superman. Why I love Batman versus Superman. That's going to come out on Friday. So look forward to that. And then DC Heroes. We'll be up tomorrow, and I'll be seeing Suicide Squad on Thursday night, and the review will be up late Thursday night, Friday morning, Friday early, early, early. So around 10 to 12, my review will be up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're also going to be doing a spoiler-filled review on DC Heroes, and we're going to talk about that on Saturday. So look forward to that, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.